ladies and gentlemen, mostly guys, but I welcome the <laughs> once in a while lady that does enjoy programming. Okay, so uh, anyhow, I'm just jokes aside, I just wanted to make a quick video because I hadn't made a video on my YouTube channel in a while. So uh, this video, we're going to create a simple querying system. So we got, um, and I got, I got this tutorial from another video on YouTube. So I'll link to that in the comment section below. And basically if you go like this and then you can uh, find your um, query results. So this is all in an array and it's all uh, binded, data binded. I think that's the VGS term. I'm a little new to VGS. I'm just kind of getting back into it because it's an amazing front end framework. And uh, from what I understand, if you're using Laravel, uh, VGS is your best friend. Okay, I'm just saying. Anyways, um, so the first thing you want to do is we're going to go ahead and create our template. So I'm gonna go back to my PHP Storm, which is my favorite text editor or IDE, integrated development environment, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and yes, I am cheating off of code. I do have code on my other screen that I can read off of, but that's not the point. I can do better commentary if I'm reading code. So I'm not focused on, uh, trying to, um, entertain you guys with flash ways instead of innovating, I can innovate the explanation so that you guys understand exactly what the code means, at least from my perspective, at least from Simon's perspective. Anyways. Uh, first thing I want to do just so I get comfortable is I want to add in the Vue.js CDN. So I'm going to do that right here. So you guys can just go to this link, just get that. And if you just type in Google Vue.js CDN, you should be able to get it. I mean, you know, it's pretty simple. I mean, oops. Um, if I go to here and I go to Vue.js CDN, I think I get it here. I think, yeah, I could use one of these. So, you know, just saying, you can really use whatever you want. Anyways, once you get that, I'm just gonna add in some bootstrap stuff and some other other random CSS um, CDNs just cause I, I, I feel like it, I don't know. Cause like this is, I didn't make this code for my tutorial. I'm kind of just practicing Vue.js cause I'm trying to create an application and I'm just, I don't know. This part's totally unnecessary, but I don't know. I just did it for fun. Anyways. <laughs> Don't hate me guys, I'm just I'm just making this video for fun, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and create a container. Oh, and then the reason I wanted to add Bootstrap is because I always do container, and then I just feel so awkward if I use this container class from Bootstrap, but I don't have Bootstrap here, so that's why I added Bootstrap. And of course, Bootstrap uses jQuery, so that's what I had there. And this is like all like random added stuff that Bootstrap default wants you to have, so I just copied the CDN from the Bootstrap website, so. God love Twitter bootstrap. Anyways, um, okay, so next here, I wanna say application, cause that's going to be our uh, view, um, I guess, element reference for the for where we want our view script, in this case, to apply. And this, I'm just doing it all in one page, cause this is a very, very simple, just functionality. It's not even an application, it's just like showing you some, so how to how to tutorial on JavaScript code and stuff like that. You know what, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So. I'm gonna get started here. And let's see. So the first one, we wanna have an input tag, and then we wanna have a UL tag with all of the um, list items, which we are gonna have in an array. So we're gonna do a, a, a for each um, a list statement. So we're gonna do that. And then just one moment, let's see. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go script here. And I'm going to say new view. So we know that this view code knows to listen to this particular diff, the changes, the, the dynamic, dynamic element changes in this uh, part of the application. So we're going to say um, element of reference is application. And then we're going to say data because we're going to have our query uh, result uh, double bind it, data bind it. I forgot what the exact term was. <laughs> yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm probably, I'm restudying VGS right now. So my terminology is like, blah, 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 don't have it correctly. Anyways, I'm just saying. So um, uh, data is, let's see. Um, so we have to bind two things. First, the array that's gonna contain the random amount of data we're gonna have. Cause like, we're just gonna put in some default uh, su subject items in our 
array so that that can be searched. So that's how we're going to do it. And then the second item we want to have is the actual query that we want to double bind to this input type, uh, input tag, we'll, which we will bind in a moment in a second this is why vue.js is good for everyone who is trying to learn jquery out there be just because it's the biggest library you got to learn something like angular js react VG react js vue.js whatever it is learn a fucking javascript framework it's absolutely amazing it organizes your code so it doesn't look like spaghetti code and it kind of finds design patterns and programming which is absolutely amazing and uh, or like and has gives you some structure so like if you scale the project up if you're the only one developing the project maybe it doesn't matter but if you scale the project up and later you have uh, plans to have coworkers like actually have other programmers read your code if you have that in any part of your application development plan you do want to definitely definitely go for a framework so anyone who's confused on why they should be using something like vgs even though like compared to jquery vgs is like barely in use like it's growing it's growing in popularity but like compared to something like jquery vgs is very very seldomly used even angular is used way way less than jquery but the trend is jquery is getting uh, mis uh, displaced with the other frameworks. So I'm just letting you know. You guys can go look it up on uh, Google Trends. Um, actually, let me just do that right now. Might as well, right? This is a fun uh, casual tutorial. So all for science. So Google Trends, jQuery, and VJS. I think it's this one here. So as you can see, just over time. Nope. Okay, so let's do jQuery here. And then let's do Vue.js here, okay? So that's what it looks like over the last, uh, from 2013 to now. jQuery is like slightly on the decline. I, this is like every like January or something, every February or something, it drops. I don't know how that <laughs> works, but <laughs> apparently that's what the num analysis is telling us. So Vue.js is tiny. So if I remove this and I just go, ang actually, if I go AngularJS, let's see that. So Angular JS, Angular. Oh, Vue.js is actually more popular than Angular JS, at least for this search term. I did not know that. I guess Vue.js is doing something right. Okay, well, anyways, then then scratch that. Earlier, I said Angular JS was bigger because it's from Google. And Evan Yu, the guy who made uh, Vue.js, he used to be a Google employee, and now he's contributing towards um, Vue.js. So yeah, Vue.js seems to be doing quite healthy. I did not know this. Anyways. I guess I guess that's why Jeffrey Way and Tyler Otwell chose to uh, you know streamline their applications framework with library with uh, uh, you know bless it with uh, VGS. I was wondering because I, I had the impression that Angular was bigger and from the numbers it was bigger until last year. Hmm. Okay. And then VGS has been skyrocketing in uh, popularity. Okay. So anyways, just uh, extra information for why a guy should probably use VGS. Anyways. Let's not waste any more time. As I said, I need two um, two data variables. I need two data numbers here. So search input is going to be one search input, and we're going to bind it to above here the input tag. So we're going to go um, v model is equal to search input. So if we go back to our oops, I don't want that. If we go back to our application and we go refresh, go hello, whoops. If I go to view, I think root, yeah, search input right here, right? That changes. So that's dynamically change, dynamically changing, dynamically changing. Carousel, carousel, carousel. Pronunciation, pronunciation, pronunciation. Anyways, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just having a fun time, man. This is this tutorial isn't serious. If you want to like actually learn some good tutorials, just go online. There's other various other tutorials. I just want to make a video for fun, anyway. So next, search input. What we want, we want. So we have we have to have the array that has the information that we're gonna search, right? So I'm just gonna create science subjects because, and I'll link to the tutorial that I got the idea for this tutorial for because I don't know. I just like crediting people, I guess. So um, physics. Chemistry, uh, whoops, biology, math, calculus, calculus, programming, artificial intelligence, and renewable energy, just for fun. 
I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just having fun. Okay. Anyways, next we're gonna say, whoops, we want to have computed data, and the computed data is, um, it calculates data based on the dynamic changes. So it's always watching for the changes. If you use like npm, npm run or npm watch, one of those things. Um, yeah. So okay. So computed. Uh, and if you don't know any of these things, you can just Google it. VGS is getting more popular anyway, so there's a lot of work being done on it. So um, next, uh, we're going to say create science subjects and function. And that's how we want it. Okay, so. We want that, and let's see. Next, we want to actually put that here in the in the list. So the list item. So v4. This is another view way. So subject in create. Oops, science subjects. I have to install um a plugin for VGS so I can have PHP Storm uh, automatically detect when I'm inserting VGS code, I think, because I don't think I, I think I deinstalled it. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, so then, then you want, because I, I don't want to ever type double parentheses like that and it's making me do that right now because it's auto, not auto doing it. I don't know, I'm just saying. I have to get my shit together. <sighs> Lost all my marbles. Now, okay, so next, um, what I need to get done is, so create science function. Okay, so um, we have to say var and then self and then refer to this because I tried just referring to this directly. It did not work. It gave me an error because I'm not exactly sure why. I just ha I know I have to do it this way because I tried the other way it didn't work. If you know why I have to do this, please leave it in the comment section below so other viewers of this tutorial can understand exactly why this code is like this. Because you know it's always good to understand like how programming operates and you know what you need to get done to get good clean code, you know, sourced into your project application, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Um, so let's say, uh, and then we want to uh, use this inside a filter, which is a JavaScript function. So we're going to say um, return um, uh, this science subjects filter and inside here we're gonna uh we're, so we're gonna go through each one basically it's gonna what filter does is goes through an array so it goes to each of these like physics chemistry blah 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 and then it goes uh and then it it applies a filter function to them and only returns the ones that that uh return true okay so that's what filter does in case you guys want to learn what little javascript is so function then value, then lowercase value is equal to value to lowercase, um, and then lowercase search input. And the reason I'm doing to lowercase is because um, you see here, like it's like capital, 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 capital. Like it starts with a capital letter basically. So you want to, um, but in the query result, you might just use lowercase m for math and that might not work that well. So you want to, uh, I don't know, I'm just doing this. I added this as part of my tutorial because I wanted it. So self, which is what I referred up there and then search input which refers to the DOM element here. I'm not sure if that's a DOM element, but I'm calling it a DOM element right now. Okay, so anyways, don't listen to me if I'm saying things wrong, and then change that to lowercase. And then uh, return true. So if this, the next statement return, if this function returns true, this value gets passed on to the new array, and which is this array here, this is also array. And if this value returns false, then it does not, this new, uh, this result does not get computed and passed on to this query on this array, which dynamically adjusts data bind it into this list item. So it's very, very super dynamic, super clean. This is why you want to use something like VGS because writing the same exact code for this in jQuery, so it gets, it becomes like spaghetti code and you don't want to be a st stupid programmer. <laughs> I'm just saying, you want to be a smart 
intelligent programmer, right? Programmers are very intelligent and wise, and they know everything about computers from what I understand. Hey, I'm a programmer, right? Okay, so turn lower case value index of index of is like another um it searches so it it go it pat in this value it searches for whatever is referred to inside the parentheses here so we're going to say lower case search input and um if it returns if it does not return false then we want to return true so we want to say is it not false whoops and if it's not false then we want to make this work okay so basically I coded the whole, the whole it's a pretty short um, application so I'm gonna dive right in refresh console error no errors view everything seems to be working fine root got science subjects all right looking fresh so now if I say physics or programming or cal or chemistry I should have put computer science in there but anyways calculus there you go why don't, why don't we put computer science let's say computer science just because I'm anal I guess I don't like being anal whatever okay okay so we're gonna go um, we're gonna go here I'm gonna refresh the page and we're gonna go artificial oops come Computer science, there you go, computer science. So I can just write science, computer science. Comp sci, comp sci. All right, guys, so that's how you code this. Um, I, I will go ahead and um, upload this to a GitHub uh, file and you guys can download the code if you guys want. You know, it's pretty simple. It's less than 80 lines of code. How many lines is it? It's only 60 lines of code, 58 lines of code. So I will go ahead and download, uh, upload this to my GitHub account and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Have an awesome, awesome day. Uh, September is coming close to an end. We are heading into October. All right, so let's really figure out how we're gonna shake up the programming industry and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, oh, and a uh, quick announcement. I am, I have partnered up with a graphics designer and I am creating a Laravel based application that is for uh, businesses like process mapping. And it's gonna be something like, uh, let me just quickly give you a brief idea of what the hell I'm creating. So it's like, check checklist checklist hmm oh yeah clever checklist clever checklist yeah clever checklist so it's like it's like this website right here and um you know this is like what i'm gonna try and uh create uh, with my business partner and hopefully it works well and uh, hopefully I'll be able to create enough of it so that we'll ask people to start trialing our software and um, start developing a user base for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned in the next video. I might be demoing, giving you like a progress update on how far I am with uh, this application development. This is not this, but like we'll, we're creating something like this. Um, like a SaaS system or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.